want to talk to you guys a little bit about the topic of pushing versus receiving. Now, this is not like push versus pull. If you've guys seen Brian's previous videos where he talks about, you know, poking a little bit and joking and backhanded compliments and that kind of fun, energetic communication when you're talking to a girl. This pushing means more energetically pushing onto the girl, like you're pushing a lot of energy onto her. In a way, you're making her close off a lot more than she would normally close off because she's responding to your energy. Now, pushing, and I see this a lot when I see guys go out and do pickup, or I see it in these bars where guys are just constantly just rambling, 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 rambling at a girl, and they're not giving a girl a chance to even speak or even take in what they're saying before they're on to the next thing. I also see it with guys who are very nervous and they get so nervous that they're just stumbling over their words. They're not letting a girl get a word in. They're um, really just trying to keep the next thing going versus actually slowing down and being present in the moment. Now, receiving is the opposite of pushing. And truthfully, receiving is a lot more easy than pushing and you get way better results than you do when you push. I used to push earlier on because again, I was working out the kinks of this approaching thing and I didn't know what I didn't know. The more I really started to dive into the work with Brian, he would talk about receiving and receiving or indulging or really enjoying a woman, right? Taking her in, finding one thing that you appreciate about her and letting that fill your body. Now, a lot of guys have a problem with this because one, they're not slowing down enough to even be present in the interaction. I see this commonly. A lot of guys just don't want to feel the discomfort that comes before the pleasure of actually allowing themselves to receive a woman in. These are the top two things that I see guys doing the most. And once they actually overcome that and start to actually truly receive a girl and enjoy her, the woman starts to get drawn in. She starts to lean in, become way more curious about you because she feels like she's being received. And I've heard Zan Perion, the author of The Alabaster Girl, say this, beauty needs a witness, right? Women go out, they spend money on these beautiful outfits, they organize their outfits a certain way, they take time and put effort into their makeup, they take time and put effort into their style. Why? Because women are the feminine, feminine and it's expression. What's expression if it's not being seen, right? So a lot of times guys, when they're out talking to women, they're not even acknowledging any of that effort that they put into themselves. They're not even taking a second to just let it all in and let it feed them, right? Let it feed you like water. So the number one thing when I'm out approaching that works for me is that I don't say a whole lot. I say way less than is necessary because 90% of what I'm doing really is enjoying the eye contact, but I'm also enjoying the energy running through my body and I'm just fully taking this girl in. So it literally doesn't matter what I would say anyway, because she gets the underlying feeling is that she's being enjoyed and appreciated and admired. Now, don't get this confused with what guys say in the red pill community. Don't put girls on a pedestal. Don't give them compliments. That's all BS. And that's not what I'm talking about here. Truly seeing a girl and letting her in is, is a feeling based process. A woman's going to feel appreciated. She's going to feel like you see her. She's going to feel more drawn into you because she feels a lot safer because you are in your masculine when you're receiving, right? You're letting that energy come through you, fill your body. But also as you're doing that, she's also receiving you as well. And what you guys are really creating is an energetic bubble. Now I know it sounds woo-hoo, <laughs> but I'm not a very woo-hoo person. I guarantee you that this is a real thing if you guys are having trouble understanding this concept of feeling a woman and taking her in and also being felt. There's like a reciprocation of energy being had between you and this person that's non-verbal. So once you get the non-verbal stuff down, you can say literally anything you want as long as that connection and that bubble are there. I don't know how many of you guys have heard about the bubble that Brian talks about when you're with a girl. There's like a cohesiveness or a glue that you guys are kind of stuck together in this moment with each other. And anybody walking past who might see that can see that you guys are connected or, have, or sharing an intimate moment, even if you just met the person. Now, this is one thing that can relax a girl right away, like in the first 30 seconds to a minute of talking to her, if you allow yourself to just go in that space of just pure enjoyment, right? And the minute you start to do that, you'll realize that she's showing more interest in you. And a lot of the times, all you really have to do is lead. 
right? Don't go into your head, but lead. Talk a little bit, ask for the phone number, ask her what she's doing right then and there on the spot. Suggest that you guys go get some coffee or something like that. It all really comes down to the subcommunication, which is like 85 to 90% of the whole interaction itself. So what's a good way to go out and practice this? Well, you really gotta find out where you're pushing at or if you're walling off. A lot of guys are walling off because they don't wanna feel emotions in front of women because a lot of times, we know this for a fact that guys are nervous and they don't wanna be seen as nervous, they don't wanna be seen as scared of the girl or or less than the girl because they're nervous or, or fearful. All that out the window, that stuff doesn't matter. But what you do have to do is allow yourself to feel her presence. And that's what a lot of guys are not willing to do. So the minute you go out and you stop a girl and she turns around or you get in front of her and you have her attention, lock in with her through the eye contact. Don't push your eye contact, don't be like, all in her face and all in her eyes, trying to make something happen, trying to manipulate. Relax, take a step back and lean. Come into your, relax into your back, relax into your masculine. So that when you're talking to her, you're feeling your body, but you're also feeling the enjoyment of her through your body as well. So earlier on, this concept was very confusing to me because I would definitely push a lot and I would be like, cool, eye contact, eye contact. And I think I might've been doing it just a little bit too much of pushing energy on her, trying to make something happen versus just relaxing back and receiving. Now, if you see guys who are really good with women, a lot of the times you'll see that they're not doing anything special, right? A lot of the times they're just relaxing their own body. They're just kind of chilling out and they're just talking to the girl from the space. Like, cool, cool, who are you? Something about you, right? What's your name? Okay, cool, my name is Anthony, right? And it's very small stuff, nothing, it's very small stuff going on. There's nothing huge, there's nothing like, hey, cool, so what do you do for a living? What's your job? Okay, cool, yeah, you're here for school? Or what do you, what do you, what are you going to school for? Oh, do you like it? Like, it's not like that, it's more like this. It's like, so you're talking to her and you're like, okay, cool. So you're here for a uh, year for school, okay? So what are you, what are you studying? Right, okay, cool. Is that your passion? Right, do you, do you guys actually like that? Or is that just like, you're just trying to get a job? You guys feel the difference in those two energies? It's very subtle, or to me it's very obvious, but for a lot of guys, we're just getting new to this stuff. It's very subtle stuff. And that makes the world of a difference to whether a girl's going to entertain you or let you go or reject you. So get used to relaxing more in your body, coming back into your back, relaxing, feeling your feet, grounding yourself, and then having a conversation from that place like we're gonna do right now in this video, right? It doesn't need to be hard work. And in fact, it's really easy. The only thing is, us guys, we get in our own way with that stuff. So the more you can get in front of a woman and start receiving and enjoying, things will come to you to say naturally because the energy that's filling your body, the excitement, whatever she's giving you, whatever it is that you're enjoying about her, the enjoyment of the interaction itself will give you things to say. You won't have time to go in your head if you're truly in enjoyment of this girl that you're talking to. So go out there, do your stops, take this piece and put it in your interactions and let us know how it's working for you. Again, I've seen great success with this and you guys shouldn't have a problem once you actually nail it. If you guys are not fully getting it and you guys want more videos on this stuff, go ahead and put it in the comments so I can go ahead and put more videos out about the subtle communication of an interaction, okay guys? So anyways, hit like and subscribe so you can constantly get these videos every Friday. I uh, love teaching you guys and can't wait to see you guys prosper and hear your stories uh, going forward. Uh, if you guys got some cool stories you guys wanna share, don't be afraid to email me either at anthony at thefearlessman.com. I love hearing your success stories. I also love to hear what you guys are struggling. I love hopping on the phone with you guys and chatting with you guys about where you are. So if that's you, go ahead and reach out, man, and let's chat. Um, other than that, I hope this is really helping you guys and uh, we'll continue to put out content that's gonna better you guys at approaching. So remember guys, only the confident really live. Peace.